Hey guys, what's up? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another Movies That People Bitch About. This is another comic book movie that uh, basically when it came out, there was some hype around it because it was DC's first movie that wasn't Batman or Superman or Catwoman. And uh, this movie flopped, and it was a big disaster with the critics, and it got such so much crap that I don't think it deserves because I think this character deserves better recognition especially you know with the, this movie that they tried and i really enjoy this character it's the 2011 movie of green lantern yeah i do like this movie people say why did you like it it wasn't boring you know i can watch this again over watching man of steel there i said it this movie is only 114 minutes man of steel is like 20 or 30 minutes longer than this and this film looks better. It's faster paced. I like Ryan Reynolds better as a lead. I'm glad he got Deadpool because it's the franchise that he needed for his career. I love the special effects in this movie. The money's on the screen. I don't mind the supporting cast like Blake Lively and Peter Sarsgaard and Angela Bassett and Tim Robbins. Mark Strong is kind of underused. He's a pretty cool Sinestro, but he's underused. I don't think this movie's terrible. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, this movie is horrible. It's just as bad as Batman and Robin. No, I don't think it's that bad. I saw this in the theater. I had fun. I like some of the action when it's there. I don't think Ryan Reynolds does a bad job as Hal Jordan. A lot of people had hype around this because they were like, oh, Green Lantern. I can't wait to see it. And they were disappointed. I'm sorry I never read the comics of Green Lantern, so I don't know how faithful this was. I thought it was pretty good for a film adaptation of a character that I think is very underrated in the in the DC universe. And no matter who they pick for the next Green Lantern, hopefully they get they get it done. They done they do a good job about it. Yeah, and I know the the costume should have been uh you know, it should have been real. It shouldn't have been CGI. But I don't know. Just I don't. It didn't bother me that much. I mean, I've seen costumes that were practical that look like crap. Like look at the costume from uh, Catwoman, or look at the costumes from Superman Four, or look at the costumes from Batman and Robin, or look at the costumes from Justice League of America from '97. Those are terrible costumes. But at least you know I I rather see this than a lot of the DC stuff. That they've recently done because Man of Steel did nothing for me. I, I'm looking forward to Batman via Superman, but only because of Ben Affleck. But, you know, Reynolds, I don't think it's terrible. People give him a lot of flack for this. But, you know, Parallax looks good. He, he should have been the main villain. Peter Sarsgaard should have just been a side character. You know, not really the re, uh, thing. I agree with this. It says action-packed. Ryan Reynolds is the perfect Green Lantern. I don't think he's perfect, but I think he's good. And people got to stop shitting on this film. I don't think it's that bad as people. That's that's an awesome looking disc. Look at that. And I do like the Green Lantern. I've, I I like that he you know his color. I like the way you know his his is when he recites his you know pledge or something you know with the ring. I like that his ring can create you know things with his mind. It's awesome. You know it, it and the racetrack thing. Oh, it's stupid. Well, it's something different. You know, and he can fly, you know, just like Superman. And, uh, you know, the film is well-directed. I don't think uh, Martin Campbell did a bad job with the directing. Um, yes, there are better films. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Captain America, the Winter Soldier, the two Avengers movies. I don't care what anybody says. Age of Ultron was fantastic. But, you know, this movie gets a lot of flack, and it doesn't deserve it. It wasn't boring. It didn't take an hour for you to see the Green Lantern. It didn't take an hour for something to happen. You know, there was some humor. It, it wasn't so dark that, you know, you couldn't get invested in the character. I think the film's underrated. Extremely underrated. It wasn't the worst movie from 2011. I saw 10 films that were worse. If I was on YouTube here in 2011, I would have talked about the films that I hated in 2011. But this wasn't one of them. I've always liked this movie. I will never hate this movie, even if they do the Green Lantern core. Uh, you know, it force or whatever it's called in 2020. I hope that they take notes from this film and they do it better. And, you know, they choose leads that I can buy. Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart, hopefully they get two good actors to play them because I don't want to another, you know, another critically bashed flop like this was. And it didn't deserve it. Uh, Jurassic World should have flopped. That was boring, tedious, and too much, too much, you know, freaking beating over the head with 
nostalgia for the first film. This movie didn't do that. And this film looks better. And it's got almost the same budget. And I think it's it's a better looking film. And it's not the catastrophe that people say. It says action-packed here as well. And I agree. Green Lantern's not that bad. I like this film. I like the character. You know, just a cool premise. Uh, a guy puts on a ring that gives him powers, you know, to create things with his mind. And for a screen adaptation, you can do a lot worse. Whether it's from a comic book or a novel or a cartoon or whatever. I have seen worse than this. Trust me. And, uh, you know, I don't know how much more I can defend this film. I, this is the bare bones DVD. It doesn't, it just has like two features on it. Want to get the Blu-ray someday because I think Green Lantern deserves it. It's a cool character. He deserves better. And I know that hopefully DC will treat him better and give him the movie that he deserves following this. And, you know, don't completely ignore this. You know, like, ah, that Green Lantern movie from 2011 never happened. It did happen. Just do it better. You can do it. I know, Hollywood, you can do it. Just give it what it deserves. So that's Green Lantern, the 2011 live-action movie. I don't hate that movie. I'm sorry. I don't think it's the disaster that people make it out to be. And, uh, you know, I hope that this character gets more recognition because screw Man of Steel. I'm tired of these dour, depressing freaking superhero movies. I want some fun movies, you know, that get me invested. So, oh yeah, that's Green Lantern. Like the movie. I never hated this movie. I give it a thumbs up because it could have been a lot worse. But anyway, thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I hope you guys watch the film. If you haven't seen the film, give it a chance. It's not going to kill you. 114 minutes sounds long, but it's still under two hours. So I applaud them for that. So anyway, that's Green Lantern. My next movie will be something different. And, uh, It'll definitely be something, you know, that I haven't talked about before, so later.